Um, we are deeply honored to be here tonight and thank the AEM uh, for this award. I think it's a great tribute to uh, Rollin. I also want to recognize Roger Amato, who's trying to take a picture right over here for all of his work uh, and working with us on the application, and a cousin of mine, Morris Wright, and his wife, Becky, who are sitting at the uh, table here. The introduction that you just gave really describes Rollins' work at Cleek Track very well. I want to give you some perspective before and after Cleek Track. Rollins was a prolific inventor, holding 100 patents over his lifetime. He first worked at his father's white sewing machine company at the end of the 19th century. While there, and with his father's concurrence, he designed a reliable steam boiler for what was then called a horseless carriage. Based on the success of his flash boiler, Rollin and two of his brothers spun off from the white sewing machine company and formed white motors. The uh, company built the uh, legendary white steamers in the first part of the uh, 20th century. When gas-powered vehicles became the de facto norm, white switched from car production to truck production, and in fact, many of the trucks used by the French and U.S. armies in the First World War were whites. The story goes that Rollin visited his brother's Clarence Pineapple Farm in 1911. Clarence said that he wanted a small crawler tractor that could fit between the narrow rows of his pineapples. Rollin designed just such a tractor, invented controlled, controlled differential steering in the process, and founded Cleveland Tractor Company, which later became known as Cleetrack. And variants of Rollins' controlled differential steering drivetrain continue to be used today. Rollin retired in 1944, and Cleetrack was acquired by Oliver. Ironically, Oliver was subsequently acquired by the White Motor Company in 1962 the very company founded by Rollin and his brothers 60 years earlier. Talk about the circle of life. Again, thank you very much.